It's very rare these days to see someone go out of their way to help a stranger. You need to sit this down. Okay. To some, even the idea of waking up before the sun comes up may seem a little crazy. It's not but not for these guys. This opportunity, this is something like I've never done before, and so I'm really excited to experience it with all of you, but at the same time, I know that what we're walking into is gonna be difficult, it's gonna be emotional, and so let's just do it together and make sure that God's in the middle. For around five years now, I felt like a fly conveniently buzzing around these church walls. I've witnessed the impact that they've been able to make on our city, but it isn't until now that I actually get to experience it firsthand. <laughs> so along with 10 other missionaries, we load the trucks with supplies and prepare our souls for an interstate journey, believing that the little we have to offer will be enough to overflow. Pray for uh, just everything that we're giving them, God, that you would just bless it and that they would be a blessing to these people. We love you, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. One, two, three, Hurricane The first stop on our 48-hour missionary journey takes us 100 miles across the state of Florida, through Alligator Alley, and into Naples, a city taken captive to one of the most catastrophic storms the state has ever seen. And if what I'm seeing in the news is true, I've got to wonder, can this really all be enough? I mean, how on earth could three trucks full of cereal and water really make a difference? Perfect. All right, and rolling. Well, hey, Boo Church. This is Pastor Shane Frazier with Freedom Life Church in Naples, Florida. And we are in a very difficult situation, as you can see on the news. Uh, but many of you know it's different when you're there. When you're right there and you're getting your hands dirty and you're moving furniture. and uh, It wasn't so much the winds that hurt us, but it's the storm surge. Uh, the water that quickly, in many cases, within 30 minutes, was three and four and five feet high. And everything floating inside of, uh, of your home. Without wasting any time, we began going door to door looking for anyone humble enough to accept our donations. Is there anything we can help you carry out? No, no guys, thank you. You'll just keep doing whatever you guys are doing to help other people. They need it more. All right. Thank you for God this. Bless you. Thank you. After having suffered such a massive hit, I knew the community was in bad shape. But my biggest concern was the condition of the hearts of its people. Surprisingly enough, it didn't take long for someone to open little remains of their doors to share their experience. It was hard, it was. Yes. I don't want to remember, I'm traumatized, I can't. Yeah. Sure. And I walk outside, you know, I'll show y'all right. where I was at. Okay. What, what the, well, I grabbed this too, I went like this, and I went, and I put it on, and I, and I, and I had to go back on my, and I cried, yeah. it was yeah. hard. Oh, so bye, baby, I gotta leave. Yes. And then I came over here, I had a lot of nice, beautiful stuff out here. So this was already, there was already water out here, I'm right? going to save this because it's like a remembering to look, it's still yeah. standing there. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot. Oh no, my God. It kept rising, there. rising. And then I said, well, I'll just stay out here. Oh, I'll just try to relax. I started praying, uh, God. Oh my goodness. I said, God save me. And there was nobody here. And I think dark water coming out of, like a, you, you ever saw a wave just come yeah. in like that? Oh my goodness. I said, oh, Lord. And it kept going and, and it flooded. Oh. And when I'm standing here, the water was up here. Yeah. So I said, I gotta leave. I, 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 I went like this and just dove. Wow. Dive and it started yeah. swimming, swimming, swimming. I think I might need help in mental state. Yeah. I'm not good no more. Well, um, would you be okay if I prayed with you? Yeah. I couldn't believe any of it was real. The stories I heard all day seemed like something out of a horror story. But unfortunately, this is real life. These are real people. Are you a veteran? We're doing too. We're yes, sir, I am. Well, thank you so much yeah. for your service. I'm not a veteran's wife. I am the veteran. Yeah, well, that's why I wouldn't assume that. I wouldn't yeah. assume, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you for serving yes. our thank country. You. Seriously. I'll do it again. So you swam out of here, literally, yes. with your dogs? Yes. Wow. And you backpack. did. You, you kind of pointed that direction. You went yeah. that way? And then I was able to get over here. I got on high ground with one of them, and the other one was swimming down the road. I said, oh, my God. Poop, poop, got in my car, got him out. My car almost drowned, but I got out in time. Oh my goodness. You yeah. said there was somebody that had passed? That guy, a... yeah. No. Went right by me. Oh. Uh. Miss Lachone? 
Wow. These people have worked their whole lives, some of them even serving in the military, trying to make enough to live comfortable lives. And from one day to another, everything, gone, just like that. All the possessions that probably took a lifetime to acquire swept away in an instant, leaving them submerged in their trauma and with nowhere to go. Their boots in the ground, the rest of the team had split up, making themselves available to anyone that needed an extra set of hands. Because of the flooding, most of the labor involved picking up drywall, moving furniture, and getting rid of appliances that had been damaged in the storm. A couple blocks down the road, we led to a trailer park, ironically named Harmony Shores, where I ran into this group of people sitting on their front porch. Pero la hemos pasado mal. Mire yo cómo me quedé. Esta es toda mi ropa que yo tengo. Miren ni zapatos nada. Mire mis zapatos ahí están. Mire, ve. Que se le inundó el carro ya no sirve. Y llamamos al seguro y el seguro dijo que no, que no tenía nada. Ninguna cobertura. Iba a trabajar como Uber, verdad. Un sueño que se I could just picture how I would feel if this was my family. I remembered exactly how I felt when I began to pursue my own dreams. I would have never imagined that something like this would get in the way. Going into this, I thought to myself, how can I possibly do anything that's going to make a difference? I couldn't work an entire lifetime to make enough money to pay these people back for what they've lost. But hearing all of these stories and seeing how people are still optimistic, how not even losing everything can make them lose their faith in God, I've realized that it's not about what I can do, it's about what God can do, and there's no limits to that. The very next day, I got to witness something amazing. We arrived in a small town just a few hours north called Venice, where we partnered with a local church to set up a food drive where members of the community could stop by to pick up a hot meal along with any supplies they may need. These are the blessing buckets. This is from God's Pit Group. Inside is all the essentials that somebody would need during a tragedy. So you'll see like a uh, Bible, bottle of water, toothpaste, all the way down to ready eat meals. It was so refreshing to see the generosity of these people. A lot of them hadn't been home in days, yet they still had the strength to provide not only for the physical needs of the community, but also for its spiritual needs too. And the way we will redeem this community is through acts of generosity. Our life will go back to the way it was, but this is a moment between a moment where we have an extra opportunity to serve our community like never before. And this is how the name of Jesus gets exalted in the community. How? Because Jesus first served me. I think having gone through Hurricane Ian themselves would be enough to slow this church down. I guess not. In fact, they jumped on this opportunity to be generous. Because if we're not careful, a week like this will pass very quickly. And we'll miss the moment. They chose to rebuild. They chose to serve. And it's all because, well... Y'all ready to serve some people? Yeah! Jesus on three. One, two, three. Jesus! Let's go. <laughs> That's what Jesus would have done.